Every nation state is responsible for prosecuting the crimes of individuals on its own territory. But this doesn't always happen, particularly within active conflict zones. Unlike other international tribunals, the ICC is the world's first permanent criminal court with an international fixed mandate. Its goal is to bring the perpetrators of the most serious offenses to justice, genocide, crimes against humanity, war crimes, and crimes of aggression. Heads of state, military leaders, or members of royalty, no one is above the law. The ICC does not replace national courts, but complements them. It is there to handle the crimes that are not prosecuted elsewhere. The ICC is based in The Hague, the Netherlands. It was established in July 2002. It can only act on crimes that have occurred after that date. Each member state agrees with the rules of the court when they sign on. Currently, more than 120 states are signatories to the statute of the court. How does a case get to the ICC? There are three ways. First, a member state refers a situation to the court. Second, the UN Security Council refers the crimes to the court, such as in Darfur and Libya. Third, a proprio motu investigation. The ICC prosecutor begins an investigation, such as in Georgia and Burundi. This presents a few challenges. Countries can block the court from carrying out investigations, even if they are obliged to cooperate. The court does not have its own police force or independent enforcement power. It also depends on member countries to contribute to its annual budget. While nearly two-thirds of the world's nations are member states, many powerful countries, such as China, the United States, India, Russia, North Korea, Indonesia, and Israel are not. The Arab world is also underrepresented. Cases stretch out for many years, some as long as a decade. The African Union has suggested that the ICC unfairly targets African countries. But aside from these challenges, the ICC has played an instrumental role in addressing some of the most egregious crimes in recent history. Member states promise to uphold the law to ensure that these crimes are not committed. Most importantly, the ICC has influenced the behavior of world leaders today because no one can act with impunity. The ICC is here to stay.